Hi, this is 210 Airsoft Reviews, and today we're going to be doing a little film for you about how to be a good sniper. Now, this is the me the weapon that we'll be using. This is the MBO6 Warrior. It is acrylic-wise. It's a ABS plastic and um, standard gun metal. It shoots over, I'd say, about 100 meters. It, sh it shoots 460 FPS, maybe oh, 470 last time I chronoed it. Um, it has a ergonomic bolt, you can switch around the bolts onto either side. It's got a, a standard safety flicky up safety that is located there. And it comes with a single rail and iron sights. Um, when I got the gun I got the scope and the um, bipod with it, well I bought it with it. And the, the bipod is, um, is a standard either direction bipod and the legs do extend either way. So that is the gun we'll be using. Now it has a simple 20 round clip-in magazine and it's basically you push them down into that um, receptacle there and it basically just shoves them off inside the barrel. Um, the stock is extendable if you press down the button at the back and pull it back, there you go. Yeah. But aside from that, this is all you uh, uh, Now we're going to talk you through different pouches you can have in your equipment. Now I've got this one and this is from my actual vest. And it's just a one pouch open up so you can put everything in like such as your mics and BBs, uh, silences, camo, whatever you want in there. But in this one, this is what I got with the L96 originally, and obviously it's meant for an M4 mic holder. So it's got two different compartments. Now you can put your mags in that one, you can put your BBs in that one, or you can put the silencer, or you can put whatever you want in there. But it's just to separate them up. So if your BBs spill, then you've got them all in your equipment. So basically, I prefer this one to be honest because you've got these on the front and the actually called the loops, loops yeah. on them. And last time I went airsoft, I actually put flashbangs down these loops, and it's pretty much amazing. But you can put all sorts in there. You could put a holster for a M9, Glock, whatever you want to. But pretty much that is it. It's easy access for these massive pieces of string, let's call them. So if you've got gloves on, they're easier. And the attached to your belt as well by these. I don't know what they call them, but these. And it's just a yeah, it's just a Velcro loops really. Make sure you've got a strong belt on though, because if there's lots of web in there, it starts pulling down your trousers, pretty mm -hmm. much. But, yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it, really. But, if you want to, you can put your silencer for the, M for the L96, BBs, mics, anything, pretty much. Pretty much that's it, you um, Okay, so, what, as you can see, we both chose two different types of attire, or clothing, or uniform. The difference between the two is that this is lighter than this. Although this is a part, this is pretty light stuff. It's this is significantly lighter, and it gives you just basically more options to add things onto it without having any troubles. As mine puffs out, adds more weight to it, and it can get quite um, well, can get quite heavy. So, as uh, camouflage-wise, the two different types of camouflage, they um, this one tends to work better earlier, uh, early and later on in the year. Oh, this works a bit more better in the summer. So, yeah, that's um, the uh, equipment part of the video. So this is the camouflage section. Just a little rundown of what we've got here. This is a basic um, jacket and hat um, mix of ghillie suit here. It's uh, pretty much suited to this area for this time of the year, as the ground is quite mossy and the textures of light do come through it quite nicely. It has utility pockets, so you don't have to wear the um, the pouches or anything. There are quite a few attachments and pockets in there that will help out. And it's um, waterproof, as to an extent, as you won't get drenched. But the material will w hold a lot of weight if it gets wet, so be careful if you're out there. So, yeah, we'll get on with them. So, you as a brief kind of, like, description of what this, this part of the video is, is just to show you that it's actually a bit more useful up front. Now some of you probably might have guessed where he is right now. So, Ross, if you just shuffle a bit forward.
So yeah, it, it kind of cut off from there because we ran out of time to do any more recording. Um, the main things we want to talk to you about just in this little section here is um, that on videos things can appear very obvious. So maybe in that, that last part of that video it was really dark in real life you probably wouldn't have ever noticed it. And that's because you're looking for it. What you have to remember in these videos is that if we hide, the only way to hide really, really well is to be further away. And the further away you are, the probably just more likely just to not be in the picture at all, which isn't the what we're trying to prove. Yeah. We're just trying to say that we can blend in yep. altogether. We can blend in. So we are going to work on part two some other time. And thank you for watching.